Good afternoon. My name is Eugene Bryce from Bryce Energy Services. Um, this is a short presentation on the electric energy mix and business green energy contracts. The idea is to describe how a business may use green energy contracts to reduce their carbon footprint and just a bit of technical information as to what it's all about. So imagine the current generation options in the UK, wind, gas, nuclear, biomass, hydro, solar, and they all feed into the electric grid. So at the moment, um, if the sun is shining, we'll have plenty of solar, a nice steady breeze across the country and in the North Sea, plenty of wind generation. But if neither are occurring, so nighttime and a calm, no breeze, we then rely more on gas and coal and hydro to provide the electricity in the country. So all the electricity from these different sources all combine in the electric grid and pro provide the electricity to our homes and businesses. Um, Kirchhoff's current law, um, just a bit of technicality, um, what goes in must come out. So electricity must be used instantly. There is no significant storage of electricity on the grid. So as people use electricity, the electricity needs to be generated. These are images from the national grid taken today at 12.25 p.m. And what you can see is the current mix of energy being produced. So at this time, 56.4% were from fossil fuels, such as coal, oil, gas, and clearly 53.4%, so the vast bulk of fossil fuels, is from gas. Then 164 from renewable energy, so solar makes up 3%, wind 10% and hydroelectric 2.4%. Other energy, including nuclear, um, most significant, 14%. And biomass is making up a significant contribution at the moment, 7.4%. Uh, Below, we have the averages. Um, so for today, um, it's relatively high fossil fuels. But as you can see from the charts below, um, on average over the past year, um, between other energies such as nuclear and wind can make up a significantly higher percentage than fossil fuels. So it's not unreasonable to say that over half of the electricity generated in the UK is from renewables and nuclear. So um, the electricity mix um, is from various power sources and the type of electricity you're paying for is described in your electricity contract. So these graphs are actually available from the national grid. If you type in national grid real-time data into a search engine, you will come across a, a number of such uh, charting websites. So imagine low carbon, high carbon. Both are metered and sent into the national grid and then you have a meter in to your business, home or factory. So the question is, how do you know where your electricity is coming from? So the electricity is measured from coming out of all generation and 
although you can't separate it in the national grid because it's all electricity and it's all mixed up the fact that you meter out and you meter in allows you to have a preference as to the type of electricity um, you wish to purchase and within the market different prices for different types of electricity and this is the basis for green contracts so you can decide to purchase from the wind farm rather than the gas or coal factory um, and assign your bill to that particular energy out so you're thinking about or being offered a green energy contract from an energy supplier what does this mean so for the following slides we'll consider four example businesses so the first business is ours uh, Bryce energy services then we have green thinking limited and Alpha Co and Brava Co. So Bryce Energy Services, 100% green energy guaranteed uh, as a contract. So we've decided to buy 100% green energy. Green Thinking Limited have also a green energy contract, but that's cl classified as conditional. And we'll get into that in the next slides. And then Alpha and Bravo have standard energy contracts. So no consideration as to the source of the electricity, be it wind, fossil fuel, nuclear, it's simply standard. And for simplicity, all four businesses use the same energy, 25 units, could be 25,000 kilowatt hours per year or a million uh, kilowatt hours per year so um, just for simplicity each business has 25 units so we'll consider a number of scenarios so in scenario one we have equal low and high carbon generation so what we're saying here is that the power station generated we have an equal amount of generation from wind and solar as we do from gas, 50-50. And 50 units of green and 50 units of high carbon. Um, so based on the energy contracts, both Bryce Energy Services and Green Thinking Limited both demand 25 units. 50 units have been generated, so no problem. They get allocated 25 and 25. Alpha and Bravo, who are on standard contracts, um, again, both demanding 25 units. And again, there's 50 units of high carbon being generated. So they are directly matched to the high carbon generation now both price energy services and green contracts can claim to be a hundred percent green on in this scenario so the energy the electricity being used is green however alpha and bravo although the energy being generated in the grid and provided into their um, factory is half and half as both of them are on brown contracts both businesses the energy is a hundred percent fossil fuel so one business being hundred percent green necessarily means that another business could potentially be a hundred percent high carbon so it's worth considering um, that you know, one business signing a green contract means another business is far less than the average of 50-50. So scenario two, let's now imagine that we have 70 units of low carbon and 30 units of high carbon. How does that um, 
be shared among our four businesses. So again, Price Energy Services has 25 units and as the 70, plenty to um, take from the network, so that's fine. Green Thinking Limited, again, 25, plenty. So now we have a, a surplus of green energy. What happens to that? So our businesses, Alpha and Bravo, um, they will take the balance. So the 30 from high carbon sources is split between them, 15, 15. And the excess energy from green um, or low carbon, uh, 10 each. So in a scenario where 70% of the electricity generated in the UK is from green, if you are not on a green contract, it could be less than half your energy from green because other businesses have claimed those green energy already for themselves. So we have a situation where Alpha and Bravo, it's only 40% of their energy is coming from green, although the national grid is connected to 70% of generation is green. So the next scenario, we have 30 units of low to 70 units of high carbon. So this is a situation where probably at night and probably when there's no wind blowing that or very limited wind that were down to 30 units of green energy or low carbon energy and 70 units of high carbon. How is that divvied up? So Bryce Energy Services, as they are on 100% guaranteed green energy, uh, can claim 25 units. Now, Green Thinking Limited, as they are on a conditional green, i.e. subject to availability, they can claim the, diff the balance of five units. But to make up their 25 unit demand, <coughs> excuse me, uh, they need to take that from high carbon, so gas generation. And again, Alpha and Bravo companies, um, because they're on a standard contract, they will be solely on high carbon energy again. So summary of the main points um, to make, <clears throat> the amount of low carbon green energy variable is variable, depending on the weather, time of day. If green energy is not available, there needs to be high carbon generation available to cover all the energy demand. So otherwise we'd have blackouts if there wasn't sufficient wind generation. There is not enough green energy supply available to guarantee that each business that wants a green contract will be able to claim their 100% green. So even on the best of days, 70% green energy generation would be uh, uh, optimistic. So there'll always be a ratio of 70 to 30, or even imagine 80, 20, where there'll still be 20% of energy supply from high carbon sources. Green contracts do support and encourage greater green energy supply by suppliers, so that's energy generators investing in building more wind farms and solar farms. So by adopting a green energy contract, you are encouraging greater investment in green energy. And the more wind farms built, the more likely the wind is blowing in that particular region. Business or even homes that are on a standard energy contract may in fact be running on 100% fossil fuels and therefore be emitting far more carbon than an equivalent business on a green contract. So it's almost worse for standard contracts in that all 
you may look at the national grid figures and say, oh, today half the energy is from wind farms. But as described earlier, it doesn't necessarily mean that your business is um, receiving 50% green because it's down to how your energy per contract procures. The electricity coming into your business physically is 50-50 or it's in that mixer, but it depends on what your business is actually paying for. Green energy contracts are more expensive than standard, but do count in offsetting your business carbon footprint. So for those businesses that are have to do SECR, Streamlined Energy and Carbon Reporting, you can offset your electricity carbon emissions with your green energy contract. Green energy contracts are a commercial contract and therefore negotiable. So there are contracts out there that are cheaper and depending on how you negotiate your electricity contract, you may be able to play various suppliers off each other to get the best deal. The Renewable Energy Guarantees of Origin, or REGO scheme, provides transparency to customers about the proportion of electricity that supplies from renewable generation. So every six months, your energy supplier, if you're on a green contract, should be providing you with REGO certificates describing exactly where your electricity has come from. So this is basically confirmation and backup that the electricity you have used, the volume, the number of units, is matched with the volume and units produced from either the wind farm or solar farm or any renewable source that your supplier has a contract with. So next steps. Uh, best action to take for a positive impact for your business is to contact us and let us guide you to your green energy contract. We work with our partners, the Energy Check, to help businesses secure the best energy contracts. So just to give you a bit of a feel for the amount of carbon produced by different types of electricity generation. So we'll just look at the mean. Um, some of these figures are debatable, but if we just focus on, for example, coal is 888 tons of carbon dioxide equivalent per gigawatt hour. Um, we have wind, which is all the way down at 26 tons of CO2 equivalent and solar at 85. So what can be readily seen is the that all of them have a ton CO2 equivalent, but clearly the renewables like wind, solar, hydroelectric, significantly less per gigawatt hour than coal and natural gas, the uh, fossil fuels. So I hope you enjoyed that short presentation and gave you some ideas about green energy contracts. Again, we're Bryce Energy Services, and if you would like any help, feel free to drop us an email at info at briceenergyservices.com, or you can find us on LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter. So please follow, subscribe, or simply lurk. Thank you very much.